party people what's up party people are you ready for valentine's day just kidding i don't really celebrate valentine's day my boyfriend and i just uh cook up some meat it sounded weird check out this double wing that i got to going on here this is how i like to wear pink eyeshadow so if you want to learn how to rock some pink eyeshadow with a double wing and a halo eye um keep watching i'm in a super weird mood today and we're just gonna roll with it prime your eyelids using the Too Faced pretty rebel palette any hot pink will do we're using totally fetch uh yeah i just annoyed myself too uh, we are going on the outer corner and the inner corner and connecting it at the crease like in my 3D smoky eye video. I'll link that down below. You just want to leave the middle of your lid open for color is basically what we're doing. And Now I wanted to make it a little bit more cool toned so we're going in with a hot pink from a Morphe 35, I mean you know the drill, 35XYZ palette. Um, just going back in the crease with that. Now I want to take a lighter pink and I'm gonna blend that from the crease kind of up to my brow bone that's gonna act as a transition shade and then we're gonna go in with our brow highlight so I mean it's not a whole lot to it it's just more blending and going back and adding pigment what did I tell you about adding more pigment here we are doing it on the outer corner and going back in with totally fetch just to amp it up before we put our lid shade in the middle okay, are you guys ready for a throwback this palette is the Urban Decay NYC palette uh, talk about being old as dirt, but I mean, I'm using it on myself, using it at my own risk. I would never put something this old on my clients. Yada yada yada. We're using it. The color is called Uzi or UZI. Not really sure, but it's just a white silver shade. has a little bit of sparkle in it, and we're just placing it right on the middle of our lid. And then we're going to go in with some pink on the bottom keep it on the outer corners you guys still don't place it on the middle of your lit of your what is that your lower lash line yeah don't put it on the middle of your lower lash line yet now you can do it after the pink is there and you can blend it together so what are we doing we're creating a halo now since you know it's valentine's day and everything you gotta add a pink highlight so this is lady love by davina cosmetics it's just a pink eyeshadow but look how pretty it is when you put it on your cheeks, okay? Just try it. No regrets. No regrets here. Damn, I'm so sexy like that. Time for a double feature. NYX gel liner. We're creating a double wing. So please pay attention to this video and look at what I'm doing. You're going to start off with a normal wing. I like to bring it up a little bit higher where it wings out so it's not connected to my lower lash line keep it on your top lashes because otherwise it's going to be hard to map it out now you're going to take a wing just like you do on top map it out from your lower lash line up but you still want it to follow your top wing that you just created and then you're just going to kind of keep mapping it out and look at it in the mirror making sure you're even because the last thing you want is two uneven wings because that's really going to show you don't know what you're doing but I promise once you get it it's so easy and it's so fun and it looks like you got racetracks on your eyes now slap some mascara on your eyelids and call it a day okay just really quickly I want to show you guys the difference between wearing fake lashes and not wearing fake lashes on an eyeshadow look obviously fake lashes make your look look I mean it just completes a look it really does but I also want you guys to recognize on Instagram when you are looking at those people who are really high up look at their eyeshadow is it good or is it not sometimes people use lashes to cover up shitty ass eyeshadow and I'm tired of it so I'm not saying just because you wear fake lashes means that you do shitty ass eyeshadow I'm just saying I've seen a few people on Instagram who have just get way too much recognition for the amount of talent they lack that was kind of rude, but you know what? The world needs a little rudeness today. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you rock pink eyeshadow. You gotta own it. That's the only tip I have to wear bold eyeshadow colors. You just gotta own it. Because 
So I hope everybody has the happiest of Valentine's Day. Whether you're spending it with somebody that you love, you're spending it with your dog, which you still love, or you're spending it with a box of Cheetos that you still love. I'm pretty sure everybody who watches YouTube videos pretty much knows that you can subscribe to me if you like my videos. I don't know why I feel, feel the need to say it, but if you're born in this era or 50 years beforehand, you know how to push the subscribe button and you should know if you're subscribed to somebody or not. And if you are watching my videos, thank you from the most bottomest of my hearts. Truly, truly appreciated. And uh, be nice to people because um, it's not that hard. People, you never know what they're going through, okay? And I've experienced that firsthand. Now that was mean to somebody, but not everybody knows about things that I've gone through. And it's made all the world of difference when somebody has gone out of their way to be nice to me. Soapbox, stepping down. Have a fabulous day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bronx would like to say an extra special something. Happiest of Valentine's Day to one pretty dog to the other. Bronx, you want to say happy Valentine's Day? Yes, you're so cute. This is Bronxy Boy Baby and he's a squirm ball. He's also a Sour Patch Kid. Bye!